Hi everyone, welcome to Wish for Loop. So in this video, we'll be looking at AM5 challenges, uh, class A trigonometry from second question we'll see. So second question says that obtain values of six trigonometric ratios to the angles 90 plus theta and 270 minus theta. So first, this question is very simple only. Nothing but 19 plus theta they told in the sense for every ratio, every trigonometry ratios, we have to put sine into 90 plus theta, sine into 270 minus theta. For everything you have to do. Okay, so let's start. First, sine 90 plus theta, we will take, it will be nothing but cos theta. And now if I take, if, I, if we will take it as secondly, of cos 90, 90 uh, plus theta so that will be nothing but sin minus sign okay so for every ratio it will be different minus or plus so we have all silver teacups that one according to that okay now tan 90 plus theta that is nothing but minus cot theta and uh, cosecant 90 plus theta that is nothing but we have it as secant theta and secant 90 plus theta that is minus cosecant theta and cot 90 plus theta that is nothing but tan theta. So first note this down then we will see 270 minus theta. So everything 270 minus theta now we will see. So sine 270 minus theta is minus cos theta. Cos 270 minus theta is minus sine theta. Tan 270 minus theta plus cot. Okay, cot theta. See, cosecant theta is minus cosecant. Sorry, sorry, cosecant, right? Secant, okay. Secant theta and minus secant. And for C secant minus cosecant theta and for cot tan theta now we completed second bit successfully with the third one question if sin theta is not is a, is a minus 1 by 3 what we have to do theta doesn't lie in third quadrant so 3 theta doesn't belong to quadrant 3 and we have to find the values of cos theta and cot theta cos theta cot theta what now sin theta they gave right sin theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse so with that we have to draw a draw right angle to triangle right so this is a rough right right angle triangle now uh, a b c if you, it's okay if you can name it uh hypotenuse is three opposite is one right from uh, this point of theta, it is like this. And using the Pythagoras theorem, we have to find this angle because for cos, it is adjacent by hypotenuse. So using this, we have a hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. So we don't know that, right? So hypotenuse 3 square is equal to 1 square plus this one, we will write it as adjacent. No, A square we will put. Okay. Now 3 square is nothing but 9. So, 9 is equal to 1 plus a square. Then, you can send this 1 to LHS. It will become 8. 8 is equal to a square. And, uh, 8 is equal to a square. And, a is nothing but root over 8. Okay. So, this question mark is root over 8. Now, this is the adjacent. Now, we have to find cos theta, right? So, cos theta is nothing but uh, adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent is root 8 and hypotenuse is so 3 and cot theta formula is uh, adjacent by opposite. Adjacent is root 8 and opposite is 1. So that is nothing but root 8 only. Okay. Now we will see next question. Fourth question. Uh, we have to prove all this equals to 1. Okay. So this one we will take it as LHS. So we have to solve LHS first right every time. So we have to prove this. Now. Tan 10 degree in the sense you can uh, tan 10 tan 20 fine now tan 80 tan 40 
So this and all keep it common itself. Now, so now tan 10, you write it as it is. Or tan 20 also, tan 30 also, tan 40 also you write. Now wait, don't write tan 50. Instead of that, can we can write it as 90 minus 40, right? It's like complementary we can write. So that will be 90 minus 40. Then we can have this is as 60 tan 60 as tan 90 minus 30. Then 70 as tan 90 minus 20. Here I'm writing. Then 80 as tan 90 minus 10 is equal to 1. No need to write that because that is the LHS, not the RHS. So now what we can do is nothing but here tan of. So this is in 90. When it is in 90 minus, it will become cot. So right tan 10, tan 20 into tan 20 into tan 30 into tan 40 now stop here you are not supposed to write this instead of that you will write cot 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 uh, sorry cot 40 <coughs> and uh, cot 30 cot 20 and cot 10 now this cots are nothing but 1 by tan right so this will this all thing will be now one example I will show cot 40 is nothing but 1 by tan 40. So now 1 tan 40 is there into tan 40 is nothing but these two will cancel one will be left out. So instead of that directly we can cancel everything. So tan 10 cot 10 tan cot 20 tan 20 tan, tan 30 cot 30 cot 40 30, tan 40 everything will cancel and left out answer is 1. So that is equal to RHS, LHS is equal to RHS. Now we'll see. Fifth question says that uh, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So one quadrilateral is there. It is a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD. Now what we have to prove sin A plus sin B is sin C plus sin D. And cos A plus cos B plus cos C plus cos D is 0. Okay. Now this is a this looks quadrilateral in the sense any quadrilateral right rectangle triangle square. So I took parallelogram right. It's like parallelogram only. So A plus C is one one eighty. So these are all properties. All this we have learned in NCERT textbooks also right. So that's why I I think no need to explain separately. So A plus C is one eighty and B plus D is one eighty. This is equation two. Right, next, what we are going to do, simple, proving the first part, that is, sin A plus sin B is sin C plus sin D. Okay, now, LHS part we have to do, then we have to solve the RHS, right. Sin A is nothing but 180 minus C. Right, so these two are equal in the sense, according to this equation, if you want to sign A in a sense, what you will do, you will send my, this plus C to RHS, no. So that time it will become minus C. So 180 minus C, simple, okay. Now, sign B also, same thing. Now what you will do from equation 2, you have to do this. If you want sin B in a sense, you will send this plus so D to RHS, it will become minus D. So B is equal to 180 minus D. Simple. 180 minus D. This is from 1 and 2 equation, right? From 1 and 2, then it will be easy for you to understand. Now this is nothing but sin C plus this is nothing but sin D. That's it. Okay, we proved. Now we'll see the second part. So second part is... A uh, cos A plus cos B plus cos C plus cos D is nothing but 0. This one we have to prove. Now, cos C. C is like this only, right? A plus C is 180. Now, if I wanted to uh, find C, I will send A, uh, A to RHS. No, that time it will be C is equal to 180 minus C. Right, so that one I will use. Now this one cos A plus uh, cos B plus it will be cos 180 minus 
a plus for cos d also what we will do now d if you wanted to find d you will send b to rhs it will become d is equal to 180 minus b so 180 minus b simple now this also you here also you write from 1 and 2 it will be easy now this will be cos a only this will be cos b only no change in that now this will become minus cos a because minus sign is there sign matters every time cos a here also minus is there minus cos b now minus cos b plus cos b minus plus cos a minus cos a cancel that is nothing but zero which is equal to rhs right here also lhs is equal to rhs lhs is equal to rhs we are done with challenges in the next video we'll see packages thanks for watching our video do like share and subscribe